when there's like happiness and good vibes, then everything works. You come on now and have a seat. Say my children! It became much simpler through being here in Atlanta and the friendliness of the industries that work here. They have a number of great stage facilities. I really enjoyed shooting at Atlanta and I thought the Tyler Perry Studios were very good to us. We're the first people to shoot in the three stages that we're using. I like shooting in, in Atlanta a lot. The crews here are great, so it's been a very good experience. Okay, great. Cut. Beautiful. Cutting. This town has become a real film town, and I can't say enough about Atlanta-based crews. I think they're the most hardworking crews in America. It's a huge music city. Atlanta's cool. The music is sort of the killer app of the movie. Beyond the music connection, there was like a car connection. Fortunately, we had the support of the state and the city of Atlanta in the mayor's office of film and entertainment. We've closed four major highways and 40 major streets just to get this movie done. Originally, we were going to be split over a couple of different states, and it turned out that Georgia had all of the various looks that we wanted, and we settled on Savannah as a base of production. Marker. We filmed in Jekyll Island, Tybee. It's a great place to make a movie. We're actually going to finish a day early because we've been so efficient here. In the case of Sully, Georgia has given us a great production team, great for our budget, and there's been a kind of ease to our day that you don't always find other places. And I think that has to do with the natural way that Georgians live life. They know what they're doing, and there's not a lot of stress. We've just been welcomed with open arms. All right, everyone, find anything you can to barricade the doors. Would you not let the monsters inside? Hey, Mark. I've been lucky enough to shoot a lot of movies in Georgia, including Goosebumps. We drove all over the place within the vicinity of Atlanta and just found these amazing places to shoot the movie, and it had the right feel, and so that was the number one reason. It was very clear for this movie that, that Georgia was the spot. The reason why we keep going back there is a uh, terrific crew. I love the stages, and most importantly, I really like the food down there. You know, the state bird really is a crane. I didn't understand that joke, but every time I come back, there's a new crane, and then there's a new building. The talented crew base that's already here, the infrastructure, and, you know, it is a transportation hub in terms of travel. And it's a good eating town, and it's just all around a great place to live and to work. Here we go, ready? I love working in Atlanta. Down stages are beautiful. It always feels like you're returning to a community of film professionals who maybe come back here. More things film here probably now in Atlanta than they do in LA or New York. My family is from Georgia, <laughs> so I have deep, deep, deep roots with this state, and I love coming to work here. I just love how cosmopolitan and sort of tolerant it is too. It's super progressive and a lot of interesting people to talk to. It's just an exciting, vibrant sort of place to be. There's a little bit of something for everybody. I love Georgia. This is the third production we've done there. It's just a fun place to work. Georgia gave you a lot more options. You already have a lot of what Los Angeles has. Our stage was gorgeous. It was the biggest stage I've ever worked on in terms of just the amount of sets that we could shoot on simultaneously. We shot outside of Atlanta and Macon, Georgia. It definitely helped the kind of feeling of nostalgia and the kind of old-timey Americana feeling that the story is trying to invoke. Georgia had an amazing stadium for us. We had been looking for minor league stadiums for a long time. 
And to find a really old, 100-year-old stadium with locker rooms we could use, concession stands we could use, a field that was amazing, bleachers that were amazing, it was tremendous for us. The Southern charm thing is real. <laughs> People are a lot more polite. As a producer, I am aware of how hard it is to get tax credits implemented. What people don't understand is that a movie crew will come in with millions of dollars and pour it into the local economy. You know, whether it's the hardware stores, or it's the hotels, or it's the vendors, it's the restaurants, it's, you know, on every level of economic life movie companies spend big bucks. So you have millions of dollars coming in to be spent that otherwise would have just been spent in somebody else's state. Three, two, one, action. We wanted to make a movie that encapsulates the spirit of wonderment, of discovering who you are. Where's the rest of me? And to be able to go back to Georgia really has a special place in my heart. <laughs> He's so good at that. But you know, there's the bigger picture here is obviously the jobs that it creates for all the hardworking locals. And my family were hardworking locals in the state of Georgia. So it means a lot to me. I love me some Georgia. On me. For The Walking Dead, the partnership with the state of Georgia has been amazing. When you're making a zombie apocalypse show, you want to make it as real as possible. For The Walking Dead, you had about, I would say, 90 to 95 percent of the crew is local. Our director of photography is local. Our costume designer is local. So for us, the state of Georgia has been the absolute perfect place to be. See our Martin. Action! There's no secret that the best place to make a movie is here in Georgia. What happened? There's a protest at City Hall! All right, here we go. Here we go. It's been a joy. There's been such a feeling and sense of authenticity, but also like the, the energy, the passion that everybody has towards the project. It's just such a fast growing city. It's such a metropolis of just young, intellectually sound, gifted people. Hello. The uh, sets that the people on this crew have built in Georgia. That's resulted in construction and the creation of facilities, and that was fortuitous for us. We hire local people. The results were really great. You're looking around, you're seeing a real ship. It's really incredible to watch. I have to do this. No! You die, I die! The crews are stellar here. They are so on it. Incredible makeup, hair departments, wardrobe, lighting, camera, caterers, the whole gamut, these people are on top of it. So we've been really, really lucky. With the incentives, the amount of projects have just exploded. So it's been pretty fantastic for actors. As a casting director, it's been amazing. There have been roles that we've cast out of Atlanta that we were planning to cast out of New York and LA but we happened to discover brilliant actors here, and we were like, well, that'll work. I keep describing Atlanta as being very user-friendly. There's wonderful things to do, and, and it's, it's a very friendly and quiet town. We took over a neighborhood for the better part of three weeks, and, and everybody was incredibly kind and really gracious to let us use basically their whole neighborhood. So, thank you. Oh my god! Maybe I should show you how to throw like a girl. Working on the cul-de-sac. It was fun. I love Atlanta. It's my fourth or fifth time working here, so it's already familiar. I think the Joneses are going to be just fine. I am Michael Lantieri. I'm the special effects supervisor on uh, the Joneses here. Uh, today we're going to be uh, blowing up a house. We have all the windows replaced on the front of the house with breakaway glass. Behind them are propane cannon mortars, so we can get a uh, good initial fireball. About ready to go. Here we go.